Namaste. There's a lot of transit happening. A lot of planets are changing their um, houses and moving. Example, um, there is a Venus which is going to retrograde and Mercury is also going to retrograde and uh, Mars is going to change the house. So there's a lot of things happening in the sky. So how is this going to impact us? What are the changes we will get to see? Let's know about it. All right. I'm Swati Anjan. This is my humble attempt to understand planets. Let's go with it now. First coming to planet uh, is Venus, which is going to retrograde to Leo in Leo. So let's see how it's going to impact all the signs. First of all, let's go with Aries. Aries, Leo uh, is your fifth house and Venus is your second lord and seventh lord. Now that is going to retrograde in fifth house. This means what is going to get activated? Something related to previous love affairs might come back to you or something related to children might sprout up or you might meet a old friend whom you had lost contact with okay so again it is a retrograde venus and saturn is also aspecting you need to be a little careful here venus is a healing um, power it has the healing power so he comes back retrogation to check if you have learned from your mistakes and to do some correction so you know very well what has to be done you know mm, so because it is also going the owner of seventh house so see to it that you don't get bitter with your communication since mercury is also going retrograde so you need to be a little careful with uh, communication with your spouse okay and don't get into any old uh, relationships take care of it and it should be fine and on the positive note you might also get into more of uh, investments you know speculative businesses you might rethink and the best part here what you have to really take care or caution about is to not invest in anything you know huge investments venus retrogation so huge investments not advisable again mercury is also in retrogation so huge investments are not at all advisable so take care of these two things and uh, communication is very important be careful with the communication part for me sharashi this is all what it is so here are the cautions which you need to take care um take care stay blessed namaste now let's speak about taurus that is vrishabha rashi venus is your lagna lord and also the owner or the lord of sixth house so he is going to be retrograding in fourth house where you need to be careful about your own health but nothing very uh, serious okay you just need to take care of your own health as well as your um home like you know there will be some kind of home front you will be liking to change probably you will want to buy a new vehicle or a house or you would also want to um upgrade your um, furniture redecorate your house something like this is seen and be careful with your colleagues because uh, that also looks a little the little uh, you know heavy because um, mercury is retrograding be very careful in communication part with uh, your colleagues okay it is very important and uh, do not speak anything at the back and you know uh, gossip and then you get you know some they go and reveal it to them don't get into those issues okay just be very careful with respect to that and take care of your uh, health but uh, i'm sure it shouldn't be something very serious and <clears throat> and you must also take care of your mother's health and people uh, might also uh, think of, of you know uh, a lot about their motherland the thoughts keep running if you're staying abroad a lot of motherland thoughts keep running you might also somewhere want to visit your motherland okay take care of um, all these aspects and yes it should be a good month okay thank you namaste 
Now let's look at uh, Gemini that is Mithuna Rashi for you. Venus is uh, 12th Lord as well as 5th Lord. So 12th and 5th Lord is retrograding in your 3rd house. So you need to be very careful with the communication part. Okay, till August 23rd, it's going to be fine. You know, it's going to be pretty uh, active house and you will see a lot of profits as well. But after 23rd, as the retrogation happens, the um, Mercury is going to retrogate. That is when you need your Lagna Lord himself is going to retrogate. So you need to be very careful with the uh, speech. All right, be careful with what you speak. You might uh, end up hurting people and um, Mars being in your fourth house. You know there might be conflicts at uh, home front so you need to be uh, careful all right and with respect to huge amount of investments investments also you need to be careful all right and uh, fifth lord fifth lord is retrograding in third house so be careful with the communication with your children okay it's very very important and your old uh, you know ex you know ex-lovers or partners might return back to you to check on you or something just be very careful it's not a great month especially after august 23rd uh, especially of all uh, gemini and uh, another uh, sign just capricorn i guess it has to be very careful so yeah it's a month which you need to be careful with respect to your speech with uh, respect to data you might lose some data also so be careful and short travels you will be having it's better you go to short travels which can kind of help you improve uh, things because it is um, uh, the transit the retrogation is happening in the third house it is and it is in also ashlesha and maga you know just uh, moving ahead and retrogating it is better you go and visit a naga temple you know any temple which is related to snake god you know naga devatas you can visit it will be very uh, beneficial okay take care stay blessed now coming to uh, cancer ascendance that is uh, uh, kataka rashi or kataka lagna okay for you the retrogation is happening in leo that is your second house and uh, venus the lord of uh, 11th and the Lord of Fourth is retrograding. So what happens is you might get, um, you know, career opportunities. There might be um, something related to finance. You might rethink about the investments or something. So be a little uh, cautious. Try not to make any uh, huge investments. Yes, job opportunities will be there, and you need to take care of your uh, communication with your family okay with respect to finance there might be some argument with respect to finance with the family in in the family do not indulge in it it is just a fast passing phase and uh, in case if you are upset you just take your time uh, try not to speak and let the time let the difficult time pass by and it is going to be fine all right and um, sun is going to be coming to your second house and yes you will see a a career may it is good and with respect to family you need to be cautious and cautious with respect to um, investments also okay these are the readings for the august month and august and a little bit it will cover up the first month of the september also okay because um, uh, mid of the august there is retrogation of uh, mercury and um, by around August 19th or so, Mars is also going to uh, transit to Kanya, that is Virgo. So that is the reading for August and a, a little bit covers to September month, first week also. All right, take care. Thank you. Namaste, uh, my dear Leo Simha friends. Here is the reading for you. A lot of things are happening in your uh, house. Sun is going to be there and uh, Mercury is going to be there very soon, mid of August and Venus is going to retrograde. So it's a very good time for uh, people who are in social media 
and uh, for people uh, for politicians it's a very good time and also for people who are in the government service okay these uh, this area is very good uh, journalism also but at the same time it is the owner of uh, 10th house as well as uh, i'm sorry uh, 10th house as well as your third house so here you need to be careful with respect to what you communicate with your managers or with your bosses you need to handle it with 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 lot of care the lot of pent up anger or the which has been there for a long time might try to you know just burst out for which you need to be careful and uh, uh, you you uh, see to it that you don't just burst out your anger or uh, get into some kind of argument with your bosses okay so this has to be the caution you need to be taking all same her friends and with respect to communication it goes retrograde so communication will become a biggest uh, challenge if you are in journalism or if you are in social media also try not to uh, comment or write something which is you know little you know not so appropriate and get into problems so handle it with utmost care uh, until this uh, until end of august at least later we will see the september month one i'll make another video yes this is what is happening uh, with you take care of your health digestion will be an issue just uh, take good care of it all right thank you namaste my dear virgo friends that is kanya rashi here is a prediction for you the transit is happening in your 12th house okay 12th house you know, the owner is the ninth and the second lord so what really it looks like so venus is retrograding in the 12th house so you might have someone from your past from the social circle might get back to you in touch with you and your pentec anger with the network circle of yours might um, come out and or or you might try to correct the way you are handling your social circle how you are handling it you might find some mistakes and you might try to correct yourself or shani is looking at it so he himself will make sure that you correct it so that is how it is and the relationship with your father will be under scrutiny don't get into any arguments with your father or father figure or even bosses for that matter and just be a little careful and uh, the family part also you know the family with regard to finance or in generic with the family don't get into arguments it's not just the right time don't bring out the past events and pull it out and you know you did this you did that don't bring out anything from the past and uh, hurt anybody in the family and this will result a little ugly the results will be a little ugly so just stay away from this kind of pulling out the things from the back you know from the uh, old uh, files let it stay old is old now start a fresh life just stay happy and with respect to investment no do not make any investment because it, the, the transit is happening in the 12th house it looks like you're going to uh, you know think of um, some huge investments and losses so don't indulge in any huge investments uh, so just be a little careful and uh, long term distance traveling is also seen like you know you might want to travel back to your country or you might want to travel to a foreign land and uh, you would want to uh, you know, we would want to correct the old mistakes of moving uh, away or moving forward that is also seen uh, you would have wanted to stay isolated for uh, for some time now you you will restart and re uh, calculate and think if it is a real uh, you know right choice this is what your mind will be running about okay just uh, be careful um, there's nothing to worry so much but yet uh, it's a nice day you know if you know the what, what is what's coming ahead you will can be a little cautious that's it okay thank you namaste libra friends libra that is tula rashi so yes how is this august month looking for you let's see the transit of uh, venus is happening in your 11th house so venus mercury and uh, mars is happening to move into 12th house 
So a lot of things happening in your uh, 11th house. So what happens during this time is uh, you will reevaluate and rethink about your social network and about your friends whom who has to be with you, whom you have to let go. You will start reevaluating about this and um, about the bosses also. Okay, you will start speaking, you will start thinking, and sometimes there is a healing. When does the healing come? Only when you correct your mistakes of the past. So that is when you will see the healing process. So investments per se it looks good but try not to invest in any of the uh, investments as of now it is not a good time so stay away from that and you will get a, a good amount of recognition fame and name during this time again depending on the personal horoscopes but this is a blank chart prediction it looks pretty good still the best of the best results can be seen with the horoscope analysis because of the uh, other planetary uh, placements as well as uh, dasa placements okay so yes you need to be careful with respect to um, friends what you speak with friends and uh, don't get into arguments with uh, friends and also uh, with your bosses okay uh, or in or with your colleagues also just be a little careful don't get into any kind of um, uh, ill uh, using kind of any wrong language or being a little harsh in the speech don't indulge in those kind of things okay thank you namaste brishika that is my scorpio friend namaste let's see how this august month looks for you okay areas where you need to be cautious you need to be cautious at workplace okay with and also with spouse okay with spouse you might try to pull out something from the past which might hurt the relationship so try not to pull out anything from the past as well as in the workplace with the uh, colleagues you need to be careful and with the bosses also it looks a little um, you know challenging so just be a little careful with bosses and with colleagues and your communication part it's pretty complicated so you need to be very careful there all right thank you namaste my uh, danurashi friends that is sagittarius friends yes let's see how this month august is going to look for you um, august is going to be a month where you will have to take care about your uh, father or uh, you know mentor guru like you know, with all these kind of uh, people, you might have a little bit of this uh, relationship will be under scrutiny. So you need to be a little careful. Okay, and um, some kind of secrets might also uh, come out or you might blurt out the secrets. So you need to be careful here. Okay, and uh, don't get into as usual, this investment part is common for all the Rashis. No, okay don't get into any investments as of now this month doesn't look so good for investment uh, so with mentors just be careful and uh, with respect to religion also you're going to rethink reevaluate and um, just try to you might try to pick up some books of the of uh, some religious books and you might start reading that is all good uh, the only thing is you need to not get into any conflicts with your uh, mentors or father figures okay no, guru for that matter teachers mentors of this okay this is the main caution that you need to take care and uh, the rest of the things looks pretty okay and uh, health also you need to uh, be a little cautious else uh, for Danu Rashi it is pretty good okay thank you namaste my uh, Capricorn friends that is Makara Rashi or Makara Lagna both the ways it works okay <clears throat> for you you will be consuming more of cold food or uh, old food like you know the previous day's food just take care of your health uh, try to have fresh food and uh, try to um, take care of your health because you might uh, looks like you will have some kind of digestive issues so you, you need to be cautious and uh, uh, health will be your top priority and uh, some relationships from the past might come up again you know ex 
um, uh, I mean, it is not for the, it is not for everybody. Okay, here I I very specifically say only people who are running through this dasha or antar dasha of uh, Venus or Moon, uh, these kind of things might end up, uh, or even the dashas of the fifth house or. Uh, this is what plays a vital role. This is just a generic say. Okay, so what happens is somebody from the previous might uh, come come back again and might contact you. Uh, be careful. Uh, do not indulge in that because Saturn is also seeing your uh, eighth house. So in case if you go ahead with something uh, which is not right, might be problematic in the future. Okay, that is what it is. And you might also, it necessarily need not be always, you know, uh, uh, affairs or love relationships. It could also mean that you might be interested in something hidden like uh, occult sciences or you might get uh, interested in something, uh, uh, some kind of research in your area of work. You might get uh, into that kind of uh, work, uh, research oriented work. So that is good. Okay anything all all everything has a coin has two faces right so choose this get into this it will be much better okay don't uh, argue with uh, you know children uh, children uh, might be a little cranky or they might be disabled obedient so handle them with care you know uh, the communication with your children sh needs to be a little more polished and more caring as like the way they want it so these are the things you need to take care and yes of course uh, finance not good for investments and communication with uh, as i mentioned you need to be careful with your children as well as your spouse after 23rd or so so yes now uh, uh, and stop eating still i mean old food take care of your food also all right this is how it is for um capricorn that is makara rashi okay thank you namaste kumba rashi friends that is aquarius so how is this august month for you so venus is the owner of fourth as well as ninth house for you so how is it, uh, it going to be now it is transiting in your seventh house so this is a month where you need to be careful with your parents health both uh, mother as well as father's health need to be uh, taken care of okay and the communication has to be careful with respect to your uh, marriage or marriage partner or your uh, business partner you need to be very careful or correct there are a lot of corrections which has to be done with respect to your business partner or with your marriage partner there's a lot of healing has to be done uh, it is upon you how you're going to work it out and saturn is also watching it so you need to be careful uh, and be logical and be dharmic and uh, take your uh, decisions as per that and uh, yes that is the uh, quite a challenging period for you when there will be a little bit of expenses also seen it's going to be mentally challenging as well as uh, draining and it's going to be a little that will give you a lot of exhaustion so take good care of your health and as you know things ahead you can be a little cautious so take care of your uh, father's and mother's health and um, uh, with respect to uh, partnership just be a little careful rethink reevaluate and see what can be done this is the best time to reevaluate your decisions okay thank you hello mina friends that is uh, pisces friends you are having a um, lot of uh, things happening in your sixth house that is venus is retrogating and sitting in the sixth house and mercury is also going to come there retrogation very soon and mars is going to come to your seventh house so uh post august 19th you might have conflicts in the marriage so just be a little cautious and with respect to siblings that is venus is going to retrogate in your sixth house again there with the siblings your communication might get harsh so as it is in your second house there is guru and rahu which is mm -hmm. which is causing a lot of distress in the family a lot of uh, conflicts and uh, you know miscommunication happening in the family so just be a little more cautious and uh, if you are indulging in more clones 6000 rogue rin shatru if you 
uh, taking more loans that could be your problem and uh, your previous uh, somebody from your past your enemy might uh, uh, come back and say a hi to you uh, so yeah it's a time to reevaluate re uh, if you have to really converse with them or just keep away lessons learned once is lessons learned so uh, uh, it is uh, not, well, venus usually or any planets retrogrades to see if you have learned your lessons or not so just be careful and with your co-workers also you might your uh, speech might get a little bit harsh so there again you need to be careful uh, this is the whole look a whole uh, thing how it looks and take care of your uh, food okay uh, in, they might be a little bit of you might consume a lot of junk so digestive issues may arise so right from now try to avoid junk and uh, take care of your health and your relationships all right thank you